y'all. Thank you for visiting my channel. If you are new here, I make Christian lifestyle vlogs. I give personal testimonies and I also share updates with my apartment. There may be an occasional DIY, how I do things on a budget and more. So if you like that, please hit that subscribe button and join the family. So I'm going to introduce my son. I am a mother of one, a single mother of one. His name is Kobe. So he is going to help with this DIY. For this first DIY, we actually are doing a, we're doing some DIYs for our apartment, for decor, but we also have one that is for a gift for our cousin. And it was something that I've done before for our apartment and I decided I wanted to give it to do another one, a little spin of what I've done for my apartment and do another one so for this my is a, um, what I did as a DIY. Okay, you can put it back. Very good, very good. So for this project, you are going to need one of these little woven baskets. It's a woven storage basket that came from the Dollar Tree. A dollar twenty-five. I got a piece of this floral foam, and it fits in the circle thing. And also, I got three bunches of the flowers, and these are it says cabbage rose so the ones that I got specifically were a cabbage rose so each one of these are $1.25 $1.25 for the floor foam and $1.25 for that so it's fairly affordable so me and my son are going to take all of the take these little tags off and then we're going to come right back so to remove these, you do not want to try to use scissors. Scissors do not work. Um, the last time I did it, I used fingernail clippers because I could not find my scissors. This is a lot of hard work. So if you have wire cutters, use some. If you don't have wire cutters, get some. The other ones that I cut actually were not this bad. They The wire wasn't as aggravating as it is in this. These are pretty tough. Now, what what is that? A clothes hanger. Well, not a clothes hanger. A clothes hanger. Hanger pinner. Yeah. It's kind of the same thing as that. That's what you think. Yeah. So oh, we have the floral foam, and it comes with two of them. You do need both of them because of the depth of this bowl, and two of them is perfect. So we're gonna cut the tag off. Thought you were gonna cut the bowl. So, so this is the easy part. This is the fun part. Yay! We're going to take, this is cricket though. This one's cricket, so I don't really want to work with this one. But. We have to stick the thing inside of the foam. I know exactly how to do this. So after, you see, we need to push that down a little bit. I was thinking about getting some rocks to, like, you can bend them because it is metal. So you can bend them down. Bend these. So, this one. You don't have to put all of it in there. But that greenery, greenery actually, like, makes it look real good also. So for this next project, we got some trash bags covering the floor so we don't get paint all over our floor. We got these sponges and we got a couple of bottles of paint. The paint that we're using for this, this um, 
artwork and we got a couple of three things of Mod Podge. All right, so actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push these canvases relatively close to each other because I'm actually going to do acrylic pour and I want the design to be consistent across all the boards. Now they used to have sets where it was like three canvas panels that came in a set, like in one container. They don't do that anymore. But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that ignorance is bliss Take me back to before the new Rewind, take it out of cue Innocence can be a young man's game Signed up for the hall of shame I wish I knew I wish I knew